Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video I will share with you 29 hidden chests locations that you get from Fontaine Patch 4.1. Teleport to the Liffy Region Statue of the Seven. Turn around and climb up the wall and interact with the object at the top of the wall to start the challenge. Turn left and glide forward. Dive deeper and obtain the jellyfish ability. On your left side near the grass, you can see a wave of water. Place the jellyfish mimic and blast it to get the chest. Dive deeper and do the same as before. Teleport to the Liffy Region Underwater Waypoint on your left. Place and blast the jellyfish mimic on your right side to get the chest. Head straight and you can see another water wave, but this time you will get two of them. Place the jellyfish mimic between them and blast them at the same time. If you remove one wave instead of two, it will automatically respawn. Turn right and enter the tunnel. Use your normal attack and place the jellyfish mimic there. Head inside the door and blast the bomb. The other gate will open and you will get another mechanism. Place the jellyfish mimic on that mechanism too. Blast it to open the previous door. Now, place the mimic on the first mechanism again. Get inside and blast it. Get out from the area and turn right. Head straight a little bit and enter the tunnel on your right side. Do the same as before to get the chest. Teleport to the top waypoint at the Liffy region. Turn right and head straight. Dive deeper and blast the water waves at the same time. Turn right and swim upwards. Blast the water wave to get the chest. Teleport to Mont E. Seuss East Waypoint. Turn right and head towards the Mecca Tower.
Take the yellow block and hit the blue stand near the stairs. Take the blue block from the top of the tree and hit the yellow stand. You can also use Fontaine character skill to get this chest. Head straight and glide towards the sea from your left side. Obtain the jellyfish ability and head straight. Blast the water waves at the same time to get the chest. Teleport to Mont E. Seuss East Waypoint. Turn left and head towards the castle near the end of the map. Go behind the castle and collect the chest. From there, glide towards the top of the fortress of Meropede. Stay away from the lights and obtain the jellyfish ability. On the first floor of the fortress, you can see two water waves. Place the jellyfish mimic in a certain point and wait for a bit. When both waves cross each other, blast it and get the chest. Teleport to the bottom waypoint of the Fortress of Meropede. Remove all three notes to trigger a dialogue and you will get a chest. Head towards the welfare meals and collect the chest from the top of the building. Turn right and head towards the tunnel. Go inside and use your normal attack on the punching stand to get the chest. Teleport to Fontaine Research Institute Underwater Waypoint. Turn left and head straight. Obtain the jellyfish ability and blast the water wave to get the chest. Head towards the canyon.
obtain the jellyfish ability and blast the rock in the cylinders to get the chest. Teleport to the bottom waypoint of Fontaine Research Institute. Turn right and follow the road. Pick up the Buell fruits, and the chest will spawn. Defeat the enemies and collect the chest. Teleport to the bottom right waypoint of Central Laboratory Ruins. Turn right and head straight. Sit on the log and change the in-game time to 5 p.m. and wait for a moment. Head straight and glide towards the Helichurl's hideout on the right side. You have to defeat some Mecha and Helichurls to get the first gear. I already claimed the chest and got the gear. From there, head towards the other hideout in front of you. Defeat the Abyss Mage and pick up the energy cylinder. Place the energy cylinder near the mechanism and activate it. Hit the mechanism when the circle at the blue line to get the second gear. Go to the top and defeat all the enemies. Head towards the camp and break all the cans to get the third gear. Now, turn left and rotate the wheel one time and a slime will appear. Defeat the slime to open the Hydro Vortex. Enter the Hydro Vortex to go upwards. Assemble the gears to make a firework. Apply Pyro on it and wait for a moment. Enter the Hydro Vortex again and collect the chest. Glide straight and break the targets to get the chest.
Now, turn around and head towards the mountain. Climb up to the top and blast the barrel. Teleport to the left side waypoint of Central Laboratory Ruins. Head straight towards the mechanism and jump down. Follow the Sealy, and find the rest of three Sealies to get the chest. Teleport to the same waypoint again. Head towards the hydro cube and dive. Interact with the shining spot and follow it. Teleport to the top left waypoint of Central Laboratory Ruins. Turn right and defeat the Samachurl. Jump to the Hydro Platforms to get the chest. Teleport back to the top left waypoint of Central Laboratory Ruins. Turn around and start climbing the mountain in front of you.
Use the Hydro Vortex to go upwards. Follow the object to get the chest. Teleport to New Fontaine Research Institute Waypoint. Head straight and turn left. Hit the Hydro Stone to make a Hydro Vortex. Use it to go up. Hit the cans to get the chest. Teleport to New Fontaine Research Institute Waypoint. Turn around and head straight. You can see a Buell fruit at the top of a tree. Pick up the fruit to get the chest.